Welcome back to the Camello channel. Today, we are going to take a look at people who managed to steal their parents' credit card and spend hundreds of dollars. At number 5, we have a kid who has a temper tantrum. In this first clip, Leland stole a whopping $500 from his dad to get the new PlayStation 5. The funny thing is, his dad actually drove him and his sister to GameStop not knowing that they would be spending the stolen $500. Leland's parents waited in their car, and much to their surprise, he emerged minutes later with a giant plastic bag. The dad soon discovered that his kids purchased the brand new PS5 like they wanted to, along with the the new Spider-Man game. It didn't take them much time to confess that they had stolen $500, and the dad's reaction is nothing short of priceless. Like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, or else you will get a whole week of bad luck. And trust me, you do not want the bad luck. Alright guys, so my dad is now driving, and I'm gonna think of getting the PS4, because if you guys don't know, I got his money. What? Look at the size! Look at the size of that bag! What? What the heck did you get? Yeah. Hold on. I want to take with it. Spider-Man. They got a PS4. They got a PS4. Did y'all steal it? What? How do you have five hundred dollars? Your wallet. What? At number 4, we have a kid who buys another PlayStation. Stealing your parents' credit card is one thing, but stealing it to spend $500 on the latest PlayStation takes everything to another level. A young kid stole his mom's credit card just to get his hands on it, and the mom was super angry, and rightfully so. He told her not to get crazy, which would further aggravate anyone, let alone an angry mother whose credit card was just stolen so her son can buy the latest gaming console. The mom went on to yell at him, demanding him to let her have the receipt so she could return the PS4, but the kid stood his ground. She even tried to reason with him, telling him that he paid way too much for it and that he can get it cheaper than $500 somewhere else, but to no avail. You could see the anger and frustration on her face as she realized that there was nothing to be done. Tell me what it is! My PS4! No! Go return it! It's my money. I wanted this you and I've just always wanted use it. all your money. I have like sent like 700. How much was it? Only 200. Boys, you want to see the receipt? Then why'd you take $15 from me? Oh, you can have that back. I just didn't want you getting crazy. I am getting crazy. Thank you. Where's the receipt? Oh, in there. Go get it. No, it's in my pocket. What is wrong with <laughs> you? <laughs> it's the Batman bonus bag. You get a free your game father, too. Your father is yeah, got something to go. How, where are you putting it? I'll put it in the garage tonight. I'll set it up tomorrow. You get home at eight o'clock in the morning. Where are you setting it up? I'm gonna put it in my room. How much is it, mom? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> what the hell? Five, five. Get in this car. You're turning. You're taking it back because you can get this cheaper. Take you it back. Swallowed it. No! Take it back. No! You can get no! It cheaper. This is you just wasted $500? This is perfect. At number 3, we have a kid who buys V-Bucks with his mom's credit card. A lot of people are willing to go to extreme lengths just for YouTube views. While most family channels might deny that most of their videos are scripted and all these crazy fights and temper tantrums are all just staged, despite being obvious that they are, there is one channel that came to light a couple years ago for not doing that. Family of Five, or Daddy of Five, was supposed to be like all the other family vlogging channels, but it was far from that. All the videos that were uploaded on the channel were basically of the parents borderline abusing their children, and this next video is a clear example of that, although this one is a bit tame in comparison to their other videos. The youngest child, Alex, stole his mother's credit card from her purse to buy V-Bucks. He denied it at first, however, the evidence was there. Alex actually recorded himself stealing his mom's credit card, and even recorded the whole process of buying Fortnite V-Bucks. Yes, you did, Alex! Oh, did you even it's recorded it. yourself doing it! You in the mom's purse, took her credit card, came in here and bought V-Bucks! Look, he can't even look at me! He can't even turn around! He can't even turn- look at him! He can't even turn around! Look at him when he's talking to you! I did not! 
not buy V-Bucks. Okay, well obviously it's on the credit card, so you did. There's a video of it. Number two, a kid takes his father's credit card. There's nothing as scary as watching a large amount of money disappear from your bank account. And this next father had that happen to him, only to realize that $900 was spent on an iTunes gift card. When he confronted his son, the teenage boy didn't hesitate to confess that it was in fact him who spent all of that money. On what, you might ask? The kid told his father that all the money went to Pokemon Go, an app that's free but has in-game purchases to help you catch more Pokemon. What's even more hilarious about this situation is the kid's response when his dad confronted him. He took out his piggy bank and shook it, only for a few cents to fall out. $900 on an iTunes card. You've got to be kidding me. This is, he's done. That's he's bad. Finished. He's finished. Oh, That's it. I've had it. I've had it. Okay, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. I thought they were up with Yeah, but there's a lot of in-app purchases. Okay, well, um, there was a lot of Pokemon that I still had to catch, but I was out of Pokeballs because I kept failing when I first downloaded this app. So, I stole your credit Really? Come on. If you want to 20 cents? No, it's more. 50 cents is what you have in your piggy bank. 50 cents. And how does that add up? And how does that actually add up in $900? Well, I'm not paying you money. Why do you think I have so little money? It's because you don't pay me when you give me allowance. You need to do more chores around here to get more allowance money. Screw this. No! Nate! <laughs> oh, what you gonna do about it, huh? It's my piggy bank. Not anymore. <laughs> 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 At number one, we have another kid who takes his parents' credit card. Setting foot into a GameStop can be pretty tempting, especially if you have possession of your mom's credit card. A YouTuber did just that with a stolen credit card, and he went on the shopping trip of a lifetime. He bought $500 worth of games that ranged from NBA Live to Farming Simulator to games that he previously owned but were sold as part of a prank on him. Luckily, this was also a prank on his mom. He actually deposited the $500 onto her account before he stole her credit card and spent them. Later on, he received a phone call from his mother telling him that the bank had phoned her to tell her that there has been some sort of fraudulent activity on her bank account, and he took his time to tell her what was actually going on. We're sure that the mother had the scare of a lifetime once she received that phone call. Looks pretty dope, so we'll try this one. We got a bunch of dope games here, so let's go check them out. By the way, thank you mom so much for all these games. <laughs> you didn't think I was serious, did you? Nah, I'm dead. As long as it doesn't cross 500, we're good. Alrighty. All right, baby, just spent $500 on some freaking video games with my mom's credit card. Mom, thank you so much for the money. I appreciate it. Hello? Hey, Kim. Yeah. Hey, we're filming. Hold on. We're, we're filming. What's up? Uh, hey, something's going on. My bed just called. They said that there's some kind of... It looks like there's fraudulent activity. And Fraud activity, activity on your bank? So, yes. You know anything about it? Um... Thank you all for watching the video. Well, you've made it this far, so you might as well leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified whenever we upload a new video. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Goodbye.